Hello my friends, William Poloniak here at Whole Health Foundation. It's about 10 o'clock at night in Lummi, Southern California, and I've run out of vegetable juice and I have a craving for some juice. So I'm going to make a special juice that's ideal for spine health. And here I have some tops from beets, some broccoli stem, I could use broccoli leaves but I don't have any, and I've got some onion, and of course carrots. So I'm going to start with the beet greens. of important tips. Frequently check your wing nuts, make sure they're tight. Feed in a few ice cubes from time to time to keep your cutter cool. We're still at 19 but I've got this ice so I'm going to use it. Now I want to point a couple of things out. I've already cleaned the juicer to make this video a little shorter and I've unfolded my claws that are in the freezer. I want to remind you the cutter always goes in top with the hole down so it drains and the grid holder goes back in the machine. Bring your juicing bowl here, your juicing tray. And I want to point out that I'm making juice on a Whole Health Foundation premium juicer because it allows you to leave the press up for a minute or longer and I want to extract every bit of nutrient out of my produce. And as many people don't know, much of your nutrient and the important nutrients are in your last 10% of your squeeze. So here I have what I've just shredded and I'm going to mix that. I should have used a bigger container but this will do. And this is onion, a little bit of lettuce, carrots, beet tops and one beet and some broccoli stems. So there we have fairly good mix. We're going to put three spoons full of pulp in the cloth and I want to mention again that I've mentioned in many videos if you have carrots in your pulp you don't need to use bamboo liners. You only use bamboo liners when you do fruit or greens by themselves. So fold it back here. Watch my folding technique. I'm going to tuck this under. Now I'm going to do this more slowly in the next one. Let's put three And I want to remind you to place the, pro the pulp here. Don't throw it because if you do, you're going to splash it on yourself. So over here, flatten it. This is very important. Pull it into a tight package like so. Flatten it. Make a little crease here. Now watch this technique. I'll slow it down. You pull this in and with your fingers you fold this under and then set that aside. And into the juice tray it goes. While I'm filling new cloths, it's going to go all the way back and back it off a little bit and we'll fill two more cloths. Let's go down here. I'm going to go a little faster this time. I slowed it down before to show you. But once you get the technique down, this is going to be a very, very efficient process for you. This is the perfect small batch. Got just enough here for six cloths, and I'm going to point out that I'm using what I call my six cloth method. And if I had more pulp, I'll show you what I would do. Pull that into a tight package. Now this press has been up over a minute, and you'll see I'm still getting trace elements of juice out of that last 10%. Now, so the six cloth method, you pull this forward, this goes over here, the spent cloths go on top, and then you start filling with more juice if you have more pulp. Now I don't, so in the tray it goes centered, all the way back, back to putting the spent cloths in the tray to soak up whatever juice is left here. Then we're going to press these spent cloths and extract as much juice as we can. 
And again, I want to point out the beauty of the Whole Health Foundation premium juicer is this is a solid bottom plate. You have an option of a solid upper plate. And you can leave the press up for a minute, two minutes, three minutes if you wanted to. I doubt you'd need to leave it up more than a minute. But let's leave this say out. Now, on a no-lock juicer, you could only leave it up 10 seconds. But here we're already about a half a minute. So let's leave it running. Now I'm going to take these four spent cloths that I've stacked neatly. I'll put them in here. I can think I can get these other two in here as well. Let's try. And we're going to see how much more juice we can press out of here. All the way back, back it off a little bit. Now, when you have the spent cloths in here, you want to go very, very slowly because they have a tendency to slip apart. So very slowly, advance it a little bit. And you see the juice is starting to flow. We can ex extract probably another two ounces of juice. Advance it all the way. I'm going to adjust these claws and push it back a little bit. Pull these top ones forward and press it again all the way back. Back it off a little bit. Again, very important to go slowly on this last step. A little bit more. And then all the way. Let's see how many more ounces the juice are going to get there, as you can see, quite a bit. Now, you couldn't do this on an LR juicer, but on a Whole Health Foundation juicer with a premium bottom plate and other premium parts, you can leave it up for a minute or longer. I want to get every ounce of nutrition out of this vegetable mix that I made. You could never leave an all juicer up this, this long. It would void your warranty if you did. But this bonnet base plate has a lifetime warranty, so does the upper plate. And now when it starts just dripping drops, that's time to back it off. So, to prevent this from dripping on my counter, I'm going to clean these claws later. I'm going to push this back, but not just a little bit like that. I want it to be so obvious that I don't make a mistake of trying to press it did like this you would damage your juicer so all the way back so that it's obvious and then I'm going to go over here and fill my bottles and let's see how many bottles we get now I'm going to fill it not all to the top I'm going to leave about seven or eight percent of space for distilled water this is much too concentrated a juice for me and I like to add a little bit of water six one good five for sure get 5% water instead of 6 or 7%. Now we'll get some distilled water. Now the key is to have as little air in the bottle as possible. So what I'm going to do is let it overflow a tiny bit. I know it's going to go on my countertop, but that's not going to matter much. I'm going to consume most of these tonight, at least three of them. All right, now we'll cap them off. All right, here I have five juices from today's batch. There you have it, my friends, for tonight's juice. I hope you like what you've seen, and if you do, please tell a friend. Remember, this formula was for spine health. The more alkaline your juice, the healthier it is for your spine. So look it up on Google, vegetables and fruits that are alkalizing, and make your juices from those vegetables and those fruits. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust.cox.net, and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. I'll see you in the next video.